Do you smell like crap? Does, do you have exactly breath? Does your breath smell exactly like your butt? Men's hygiene today. Uh, Will and Speak Live. Hey, listen, I'm not a doctor. I'm not giving you medical advice. But okay. Anyways, I want to do this show because, um, you know, look, hygiene is important. Okay. Now, uh, there are people out there. We know them. Okay. And their hygiene is garbage. And sometimes it could be women. But nine out of ten times, it's us guys. Now, I'm not saying it's me. I'm not saying it's you. Although it might be you. But I want to do the show because I know a few guys out there that their hygiene is, uh, how shall we say, lacking. And when, now, this is a big problem because we. Got, I, I always say we have an epidemic out there. I mean, guys, um, y- you got to... Y- y- <laughs> You got to wash, you got to wash, you got to, you got to comb, you got to brush. And so we're going to break it down now. Um, and it's usually men. Sorry. You know what I mean? And unfortunately I know a few of these guys now, um, there are mm, three reasons why a guy would have really uh, shitty hygiene. And, uh, that would be number one. They're afraid. That's right. They're afraid because they're afraid to go to the dentist. I know people who haven't gone to the dentist in five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and their mouth is rotting and they have the money too. They have dental insurance, but they're afraid. Listen, I'm the biggest chicken on earth. Okay. I hate going to the dentist. I'm, I, you, you're braver than me. Okay. And I go to the dentist twice a year. You got to go, dude. You got to go. Uh, that's one, number one reason they're afraid, the men. Number two, they're lazy. And number three, they, they, three, three, number three, they gave up. You gave up. You don't care anymore. Clearly, because your breath smells like shit. So, um, uh, if you live in a cave by yourself, then you do you. Nobody cares. You know what I'm saying? Go rot. But if you have a family, if you have friends, if you have a job, if you you know operate and live in this world where there's people, you really need to take care of your health for two reasons. Your hygiene for two reasons. Number one, because it's directly correlated with your health. The better your hygiene, the healthier and happier you're going to be. The worse your hygiene, the more unhappy you're going to be because you get tooth decay, toothaches. Does that make you happy? No. Okay. Uh, And also, you know, it can stop you from getting promotions, from doing better in life and in work and for uh, for finding love or friendship or, again, like, you know, and it's just bad for your health. And also, if you have kids, you want to set an example. You don't want to be, you know what I mean, like a mouthful of garbage or your hair or your eyes or whatever you know you gotta take care of yourself. so let's, let's break it down okay so let's start off with the most obvious one i think and that is uh, teeth hygiene guys listen to me okay if i ask you do you brush your teeth you, you know what you're gonna say to me hey i brush my teeth i brush i brush i i now what let's clarify what does brush mean are you just showing the brush to your teeth or are you actually brushing and then, no, I brush, I brush. You probably don't brush. So I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to help you out, okay? I'm going to help you out. I'm going to teach you how to brush. Shh, no one has to know you're watching this video. It's between me and you, baby. And listen, I wasn't always the greatest brusher, okay? But look at these beautiful whites. That's not by mistake, honey, okay? All right, so uh, when we brush, okay? Listen to me, you dirtbag. When we brush, you you break your mouth down to four quadrants, okay? It's the Okay, so the top right or top left, if you're watching me, Quadrant number one, quadrant number two, quadrant number three, quadrant number four. So the teeth get broken into quarters, okay? When you brush, first off, you don't brush hard. You you hold your brush lightly. Now, if you have an old school brush like this, it's better than nothing. But you really should get one of those power um, motorized brushes. It's night and day. But no matter what brush you use, it's gentle. Don't brush hard. You don't want to receive the gum line. So look, I'm going to demonstrate, okay? You put toothpaste on the toothbrush. You might think this is elementary but share this video with somebody you love who's a dirtbag okay so so you're gonna do like this look you're gonna brush okay this quadrant first okay here okay you're gonna go that nice and easy you do that like 10 times okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on top of the tooth or in this case underneath it on a top 10 times gentle Uh and then you're gonna go on the other side the interior of that quadrant, that quarter, uh, uh, ha, ha, uh, ha. Okay, so it's you can go one, two, three. So it's one, 
the sides, right? This side, that side, and that side. Okay, so you're gonna do that quadrant number one, quadrant number two. Same thing, repeat for the four quarters, the four quadrants. Okay, and, okay, and then you're gonna give it a nice, you know, like that, like old school. Okay, anything in there, you're gonna get in there. Uh, you, if you can get behind that tooth, so up and back. Ah, uh, okay, brush your tongue. Ah, uh, get that that crap out of there. And you're gonna rinse. Okay, that's important. And you can take your time. You know, you shouldn't, it should take about, you know, I would say three minutes to brush your teeth. Good. You have to brush your teeth because brushing your teeth is also correlated with heart health. The better your teeth, the stronger your heart, actually. That So and that's not me making that up. Go look it up. There's a direct correlation, a direct link between clean, healthy gums and teeth and good heart health. Okay. I'm not going to tell you why. You go look it up. But trust me on that one. Now, after you brush, dirtbag, what you're going to do is floss. You have to floss. Now, I don't like the string floss. That's just a pain in the ass. That's old school. Get this. These are, wait a second. Yeah, these are the best, okay? By the way, don't tell me you don't have money. I need the money. I need the money. That's why my, my hygiene is so bad. I need the money. You got money for liquor, right? Alcohol? Yeah. You got money for vaping? You got money for cigarettes? You got money to hang out with the boys? How many sneakers do you have? You have the latest phone, right? You got money for subscription plans? You know, Netflix and this thing and that thing. You got money for that, right? You got money for that? Yeah. You got money to maybe even go on a vacation. You got money to go away for a weekend. You got money for snacks. You got money. You got money for this. Shut up. Okay. Don't, don't, again, this is your health. So get this. Uh, I love them. The placards. Okay. This is like a couple bucks. Now, what I love about this, okay, we're going to make your mouth beautiful. People are going to want to talk to you again. Okay. It's going to help you. So you got two things with this. This is the best floss you money can buy. Uh, this floss has double line and it doesn't bend. And then you got a little tool here where you can, um, you know, pick your teeth. And you should pick your teeth gentle. We don't want to make the gums bleed. Now, because you probably don't brush like I told you, now you learn. But the first couple of times you might have a little bit of bleeding on, on your teeth and gums. Don't worry about it. It'll go away in a couple of days. But brush lightly. Okay. Now, also, we're going to floss lightly. This floss goes in the tooth. Okay. And you're going to go in between each and every tooth. should take you maybe a minute. Nice and easy, though. Don't force it. We don't want to bleed the gums. But you want to go up gently, okay, and like a Y formation. So up to the left, up to the right, each tooth. Pull down. Next. Uh, uh, next. You know, down there. All the way around into the teeth, okay? That's important because no matter how good a brush is, it can't get in between the teeth like floss can, okay? You're going to do that. Then you're going to get some mouthwash. I use this. This is expensive. You could just use Listerine, whatever. But, you know, and then you're going to fill the cap up. Okay. Boom, boom. We're going to switch around for about, I don't know, 15 seconds. And then pull, spit into the sink. Ah, look at my teeth. Huh? You could have great teeth too. And by the way, I used to have shit teeth, but, you know, I got on, I got on the proper way to, because I, I didn't know. I thought, I thought brushing was just like, you know, I thought brushing was just, I don't know, you just go like this and you're done. No, you really got to take care of your teeth, dude. And then you'll you'll be healthier and you won't have to have your teeth pulled. You know, so, and then you have to go to the dentist twice a year for cleanings and checkups. You have to, because again, like, you know, it's no fun to have bad teeth and have the pain and, and, and the rotting and the stank. You know, that's why nobody wants to kiss you, bro. And um, I got, hmm, well, it's in there. Anyways, okay, now we got the teeth done, right? Let's talk about hair. Like, get a haircut. Don't be, don't be, don't be a shit bag. Go get a hair. Go get a haircut. Stop going out with the money. You got money for everything else. Go get a haircut. You go to one of these chain stores. Get a haircut. Supercuts, whatever the hell cuts. Just get the haircut. Okay, do that once every minimum. I would say once every two months minimum. Um, and then also body hair. So like I'm a hairy dude, okay. I I shave a little bit here so the hair's not sticking up out of my shirt. Look look presentable, you know what I mean? Um, nose hair. I got more nose hair than people got body hair. Don't wax the nose hair. That's not good. You need God put hair in your nose for a reason. For men and women, it filters out bacteria, viruses, chemicals, and like that. So you need nose hair. Now, um, I might have hair on my tongue for God's sake. You want to get nose scissors because they're they're blunted, they're rounded, and snip the nose hair. You got to look presentable. 
Same thing with the ears here. Like, you know, see, like you can, you can tweezer, pull them out. Look, look good. Now the teeth is much more important than the hair, but the hair is hygiene. Okay. You don't want to be walking around with hair coming out of your nose and snot. This it's no, again, you're losing opportunities for everything in life. When you do that, uh, body hair, you know, look, look at my arm. Okay. You see that that's hairy, right? I gotta, I gotta shave that down because if I don't shave it down, the hair will go about an inch off my arm, literally be fur to look presentable. You know, like I'm not shaving it off. I'm just trimming it down. You have to trim it down. Get yourself a pair of buzzers from wherever, you know, Walmart and just, you know, take some time once every three months or something like that. Look presentable. You know what I mean? Shave. Okay. If you're going to have a beard, trim the beard, make it look good, you know, decent. Okay. Um, Okay, so we talked about brushing and hair. Um, brushing your hair too, right? Like, you know, take some time. You know, doesn't have to be gel. You can even use hand cream a little bit and then just, you know, brush your hair. Wake up in the morning. If your hair is stubborn, you got bed head, either jump in the shower or, you know, put some water on your hair and then, you know, make it look all nice and sexy. Um, let's talk about shower, by the way. So you smell like shit. Um, why? So... You have to shower, okay? Now, I know you're saying, oh, shower with local blah, blah, blah. Two things. Are you showering the right way? And how many showers in a day do you take? And or Okay? So, um, you should shower a absolute minimum once a day. And I would say preferably, like, after you come back from work or before you go to bed. You don't want to sleep all sweaty and nasty in your bed. You want to shower. Now, um, if you have a you know, labor job, you know, you come home, you shower. Okay. Or if you get done with a workout, you shower, you, you get done playing soccer or tennis or whatever outside cycling, running, walking, you, you shower, you're done with act, physical activity shower. Now, how do you shower? Because you can't just sit there and look at the water. You get the shower, you wet your whole body down, head to toe, everything gets wet first before you do anything. And then you get a bar of soap. Okay. Or the pump soap for the body. And then you wash your hair. You foam everywhere, foam. We want white foam everywhere. So you're going to wash your head, wash your face, behind your ears, your neck. You're going to do your shoulders, your chest, your arms, your hands, your stomach. Okay, the private parts, get in the crack, get in there, wash that ass, get in there. I'm not, I'm not kidding around. Wash your legs, wash your knees, wash your your ankles and your, and your, and your uh, you know, lower part of your legs, the calves, okay? your armpits okay that's where a lot of the odor is you're gonna be soaped up try to get on the back as much as possible you want foam head to toe foam like you look like a a white foam monster and then you go in the water and you rinse it and you make sure you rinse it and you rinse everything down okay and rinse 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 circle the water you know spin around gently don't don't fall and break your ass in the shower and you rinse everything is off of you now you are done with your shower okay but foam everywhere Soap touches everywhere, okay? Gently, you you know, everywhere, okay? You you get on that, you make a lather of foam everywhere. That's a shower, okay? From head to toe, okay? Now, you again, once, twice, now in the summer, I'll shower sometimes three, four times a day because I'm out running around, so like that. You can't go, especially to function, you shower, even if you're not going somewhere, just just shut up, shower, okay? Okay, washing our hands. When we wash our hands, okay? Putting some water on your hands, that's not washing your hands. Like the body, you wet the hands first underneath the faucet. You wet, okay? Warm water, preferably. Uh, wet the hands. Then we put soap in our hands. Now watch this. We go like this. We soap around in between the fingers. We go like this. Scratch, scratch, get the soap underneath the fingernails. We wash the wrists. Okay, we lather. You want to see that there's so much lather on these hands, okay? We lather, lather, lather. I used to volunteer at a hospital. They gave a whole seminar on how to wash your hands. So washing your hands, okay? Make sure they're washed in between the fingers, okay? The thumbs, everything around, okay? You say your ABCs, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, Z. You do the whole alphabet. That's when you know you're done. And then you rinse, okay? But first you wet the hands, then you put the soap on the hands, lather, whole body, whole uh, whole hand, count the ABCs, and then you rinse, okay? That's how we wash our hands. You wash your hands before you eat. You wash your hands after you get done with any kind of outdoor labor or you were out shaking hands or hanging out at the bar, you know, before you 
you know, you, you wash your hands before you eat. Okay. Okay. Um, you also may want to get underneath your fingernails with, you can actually use this again. This has got a little, that little thing and you can get underneath here. Okay. Cut your fingernails. Okay. Unless you're some supermodel and, and men, if you're going to have long fingernails, then paint them. Go be pretty, please. But if you're not going to paint them, cut the fingernails. Okay. Don't be lazy. Stop. Cut the fingernails. It looks so fucking nasty. Cut the fingernails. Okay. You're not snorting cocaine. Cut the fingernails. All right, same thing with your toenails. Cut them. Okay. Or have someone do it for you. Go to the nail salon. Whatever. Cut them. Okay. Um, wipe your, you know what, when you take a poop, how to wipe. Now, some of you may be physically unable to do it because you can't get all the way back there. Okay. You could buy you know, one of those spray bidets, but anyway, have your plumber put it in. But anyways, okay. Uh, when we wipe, you're going to wipe. You're going to wipe till there's nothing left on that toilet paper, okay? So you, you take your deuce, dump, boom, and then you're going to wipe. You're going to get up in there. You're going to wipe, okay? Don't leave nasty skid marks on the underwear because more than likely you're not washing the underwear. So don't do that unless you're going to wash your own underwear. It's still nasty. And if you can't get in there, then after you take your dump, jump in the shower you know, and, and wash that ass because again, hygiene is important. Okay. You can't have that type of bacteria on your body and stuff and have some pride in yourself. Okay. I want the best for you. You deserve the best. Don't, don't do this to yourself. All right. Also get a yearly physical head to toe. I understand you're scared. I'm more scared than you. I go once a year, to get the workup. They're going to check the eyes, the nose, the hair, the mouth, the beep, but dub, but dub, take some blood work. Okay. That's part of healthy hygiene. Um, you know, if you got beauty marks, see the dermatologist. Uh, what else? Deodorant. You know, use deodorant. Use some deodorant. Don't use deodorant as a replacement for a shower. Use deodorant after the shower. Okay. Um, what else? Um, that is basically that. But hygiene is important. And, um, you know, I understand you want to give up. You gave up. But, again, your friends, your family, you got to go to work. You, you got to, and when you take a little bit more pride in yourself, then you'll feel better too. You know, you won't smell like shit. And many people don't want to tell you that, you know, your breath smells like uh, Seaside Heights had a baby with San Francisco, but you know, your breath smells like shit. It really, really is disgusting. And you need to brush, floss. I would use Listerine, like honestly, just yeah. And if you ask somebody, honey, does my breath smell like shit? They're not, they're not really going to tell you the truth. They're going to be like, oh, no, well, sometimes, you know, if they said that, your breath smells like shit. Like, and, and mints, mints are not going to help you. You got to go to the dentist, got to do the floss and the brushing. You know it. And it, and it's going to make you healthier. It's going to make you happier. Okay. So I want that for you. And, um, you know, take the shower, take care of your skin. You know, if you got pizza on your face, go to the dermatologist. Watch what you eat, too, because fried foods will ruin your skin. So hygiene, hygiene, hygiene is important. Most of the time, it's us men that mess this up. And so it's not good. And I understand sometimes it's cultural norms, different cultures. Like, you know, when I went to Italy and I'm Italian, you know, a lot of Italians don't wear body uh, odor. They don't wear uh, deodorant. But you're not living in Italy. You're living in America. So, you know. Spritz, 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 baby. Okay. Um, but that's it. Yeah. So you got to take care of yourself. Hygiene is important. And uh, like I said, the best is yet to come. I want the best for you. And that is it. Like, subscribe, share with somebody that you think could use this message. Uh, you know, you could just be like, oh, honey, <laughs> look, I saw this. <laughs> Isn't this guy a jerk? And then they'll watch me and then they'll be like, oh, damn it, man. My breast smells like shit. You know, they got exactly breath. Their breath smells exactly like their ass. Okay, so anyways, thanks, everybody. Like and subscribe. I'm out of here. Five, four, three, two, one. Bye.